victim's body. Karen, what have you learned? Anna Maria certainly poses challenges for prosecutors, but there have been successful convictions here in Massachusetts before, including by the same district attorney's office now charging Brian Walsh. Just over 20 years ago, Joseph Romano of Quincy was convicted of beating his wife Catherine to death and then dismembering her body with a saw he borrowed from a neighbor. Her body was never found. Joseph claimed Catherine, who was an iron worker on the big dig, had been killed by drug dealers. But investigators were able to link him to the crime, relying on blood, bone and tissue and crucial DNA testing. Here's the prosecutor in the Romano case. The most compelling evidence in this case is the evidence that he was unable to hide. There are some similarities to the Brian Walsh case. Five Investigates has reported that a hacksaw was discovered in the trash at a transfer station in Peabody, along with a bloody rug and tarp. We know the evidence was sent to the state police crime lab. We don't know exactly what they found. That's being withheld from the public for now. But we do know from experts in a case like this, in order to bring murder charges, they would need to find out exactly what kind of tissue or how much blood was found in the evidence evidence, determine if a person could live without that, and then see if it matches on a Walsh. In the case of Joseph Romano, he was convicted of second degree murder. We'll be watching what happens here in this case very closely. Maria? 